We're out on the west end of Rottnest uh, Island again this morning, so it's again myself and Anton. Came out for a fish. Um, conditions are perfect out here, and uh, we're hoping to get a couple of snapper. The wind's going to pick up at about 12 o'clock this morning, so we're going to make uh, hay while the sun shines and hopefully get a couple of fish. No love lost, you Anton. Little skippy. Yeah. I'm going to take the first fish of the day with a skippy down below the boat. Some bait for that on. How was that, Uncle? Yeah, very yeah. good. Well done. Might be right on the boat. Yeah. Going down like this and looking out. It's a real one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a real one. It's a, it's a live rod as well, but uh, hoping to have the first snapper for the day. We birdied up quite a bit. We're in the same spot that we were in a couple of days ago um, hoping for a good uh, snapper to break the ice there we go first snapper for the day probably going to be touch and go but uh, let's have a quick look we'll put him on the light detector and soon find out. So we just grab him underneath the bottom here, so this is where the heart is. And then basically cut down here. And you cut through the aorta. And you can see the blood's pumping out there. So that takes all the blood out of the flesh. Makes it more edible later on. A little bit finicky this morning as they were the other day. We've got here as a 17 pound trace, very lifeline, small little weight, and then two 5 0 hooks. What I'm basically doing is not putting a whole muley on, just cutting the muley sort of uh, diagonally across, dropping it underneath the boat, and then it drips down into the zone. I'm guessing they're about 30 40 meters behind the boat and at the bottom third of the, the swim. So by the time it gets into that area, they're picking it up. I think the heavier baits and heavier lines are maybe putting them off. I found when the weather's a little bit more windy and the water's rough, you can sort of upscale in terms of your tackle. Oh, there we go. That one's yours. Oh, right there, Anton, yours. You need to stick it out here. There we go. I think Anton's into a snapper now as well. I hope that one recovers as we go down. That one pulling back a bit, Anton. Not very much. Uh, it is heavy a tackle there. <laughs> that sea colour. Yeah. That's your first snapper, aren't you? That's my first snapper. And there we go. Well done. That's your best smile. Yeah, that's the best smile. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Good stuff. You see, Anton, that side of the boat. Mm. <laughs> that is a fantastic. Um, oh, that's a massive black bass. Yes. That is a more, you know. That's a brilliant sized uh, black bass, one of the bigger ones I've seen in a while. Anton's fishing with a circle hook. A piece of squid underneath the boat, apparently catching bait fish, but I'm yet to see a piece of bait fish come out. Or oh, mind you, that one was. Nice one, Anton. Got to change 
got tactics man. Good stuff, well done. Bit of a change of tactic here. We've uh, Anton started getting fish under the boat and then he lost a good one as well. And he was fishing a circle hook, so done the same thing, put a nice half a muley on with the circle hook and uh, got a keeper. So we're probably changing our strategy now to see if we can get the, the fish under the boat. Generally, we don't catch fish under the boat, but uh, I think the signs are there that they are under the boat. So let's keep on trying. I think you figured them out. Close by. Yeah. <laughs> what is a beautiful colour, eh? Yeah, At least you got the Dewey's number. Finally caught a Dewey, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Take both of them. She went under the boat. Yeah, it's not something that I'm going to consider. Unless I'm going for bait fish. <laughs> this is my light gear. Eddie's in again with the light rod. Give you a hand in. Anton into what I believe is a snapper, yeah? Pretty decent one. Once again, just behind the boat. Uh, drifted a muley behind the boat. When you buying a boat, Anton? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's not a snapper, eh? Oh. It's something else. Looks like a sweet lips. Or even a bolchin. No, ah, big bolchin. Big bolchin. Big baldy. Oh, that's a nice baldy, yeah. Huge baldy. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's okay. Hey, hey. hey! That's the fish of the day. Mesa. That is a fish. Sure. And that is, as baldies go, that is a decent size. Shallow. Yeah. That is a decent baldy, yeah. Very decent bolt and curve that Anton's got here. Picked up, funny enough, a uh, drifting bait behind the boat. Probably drifted down far enough for him to come up and uh, pick it up. So we're busy pulling the anchor and uh, getting ready to move and we're going to do a bit of bottom bashing for Dewey's. Uh, Anton decided he can't get enough so while we're pulling the anchor he still fished. And lo and behold another decent Bolton Groper. Tonight we feast. Nice Anton. <laughs> no, Ben, we're not bringing this guy along anymore. Yes. He makes our names bully. Yeah. Yes, you my friend. <laughs> it's like a Dewey Glen. Three days in the making. <laughs> Ben's in. See some colour down there. Looks like. A Nice blend. Exactly what we came for. Nice bass there. Eh? <laughs> nice blend. So we're busy releasing the uh, dew fish with the release weight. Came up from about 20 meters.